Hello, so this is the fourth video that I'm doing with Captain Marvel. Just got done playing against Taskmaster and uh, got Shadows of the Past at the beginning for a second time in a row. So I guess we'll see if that if that happens again with Zola. So he's kind of a complicated um, villain. He has a lot going on. So I'll start by just reading reading his stuff. So he has a built-in retaliate. And then for Zola 2, he has a winter revealed a search the encounter deck and discard pile for test subjects, side scheme, and reveal it. So I've done that here. Um, it comes in with super player. And the first player discards top card, discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a minion and they reveal they reveal that minion. And then he has Hydra. Prison, which each player searches their deck, discard pile in hand for a hero specific ally, places it down beneath this scheme. So, lose Spider Woman. She's one of my best allies, too, so that's kind of rough. Shuffling my deck now. Okay, so Spider Woman is stuck under here. But then, and then I place X threat here, where X is the total cost of all allies beneath it. Each player shuffles their deck. So this is going to have 3 plus 1. That has 4. And then um, his main scheme, worst response. After the villain, after resolving step 1 of the villain phase, place one test counter here. Then if there are 3 or more test counters here, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until the minion is discarded and put that minion into play and engage with the first player. Um, uh, and then remove three test counters from this scheme. So after um, after step one of the villain phase, I'm just going to have to check that condition every time to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Um, I'm going to need test counters here. So I'm going to grab a die that has a zero on it so I can, so I can keep track. And there's my uh, ritualistic knocking over my light. Um, Okay, that's zero, which is going to be his test counters. Uh, now what? So, okay, that doesn't have a revealed. So the win revealed here, grab that, and then win revealed each player. Yeah, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, that was one defeated, not one revealed. So I think everything's ready to go. Unrevealed, place a threat, grab the ally. Unrevealed, search and counter for that. Okay, that should be good now. And um, also, Zola's health, uh, 14. Mine is at 12. One thing that's really interesting about single player versus um, two player is just the the... The villain healths are like comparable to your health, which I'm so used to two player where the villain always has like more than double my health, but now it's like feels more like it's on even footing here. Okay, so now I get to start the game. Um, I'll draw my six cards. Five, six. Think about this hand. Um, so again, back to Captain Marvel stuff. So I do have her combo here. Like, I could do her thing where I go aerial, play my helmet, and then I get plus two defense, and then I can actually block. And I can crisis interdiction to remove four threat between two schemes. So it'd be two and two. Um, is that worth it though? And would I have enough? So let's say I drew a card. I could pay for a cosmic flight. I could get my helmet. Yeah, I'm not still not so certain about that. But then also if I crisis interdiction, I'd remove two, two, and then I could finish it. That's that's not that bad. Um also I've never this whole time that I've been doing this series, I haven't used any of her um, 
any of her cards. I haven't used Cosmic Flight, Crisis Interdiction, or her helmet yet this entire series. So I think I'll... Yeah, I'll... I'll keep this hand, and I'll try to try to respect Carol's uh, strategy and see if it works. Uh, so now I'll use my action to draw a card. I will spend uh, two to get my Cosmic Flight. Now I'm aerial, and I have an ability to detach it and just prevent three damage. Uh, I will go into hero mode. I will spend an energy absorption to photonic blast here. Deal five damage to Zola. And draw a card. Strength, that's perfect. Okay, and then I will crisis interdiction. Um so it removes I am aerial, so I remove two threat from I'll remove from trust subjects first. And then Hydra Prison. When defeated, the first player discards until they get a minion. Okay, so let's see how long until I get a minion. There's one. Um it has tough also, I took one damage from Zola's Retaliate, and I'm exhausted. I have an action for it. Uh, he gets plus one attack pack for each attachment on him. Okay. And then um, I will thwart two off of the Hydra Prison. Finish that. And then return my ally to the, to the hand. I don't have enough to forward any of this, but that's okay. Okay, that was a pretty good first turn. This is, wasn't the typical shield strategy that I do, but I'll see how this works out. Now I'll draw three cards. Ready myself. And then the main team goes up by one per player. After it's all except one villain phase, place a test counter. Then if there are three or more test counters, Okay, they're not, so I will stop reading that. Yeah, there's only... Uh, not very good at these dice. And then Zola is going to attack me for two. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, I'll take this damage. Um, two. Boost, place one test counter on the main scheme. Okay, this is just two. And then the bio servant will attack me for one as well. So I'm down to eight. And I get an encounter card. Petri, Winterfield Hero Zola attacks you. You are stunned. Okay. Two, three, four. And I'm stunned. That was brutal. Um now what do I want to do here? My turn. Yeah, so I think I'm going to flip down and recover. That was a lot of damage that I took. I will use Commander to draw one card. I'll use Power in All of Us and Homeland Intervention to get Mockingbird. Mockingbird will stun him. I stun him back. And she will attack the servant to get the tough status card off. Um, Spider Woman will come in. Uh, uh, she she will confuse the villain, so he's getting messed up over there. And then she will attack the bio servant for two. Yep, I think that's all. I have my helmet in my hand. I'll try to play it. Uh, 
Six cards. Okay. Got my energy channel. This is going to be key to winning this against Retaliate. So I'm going to be playing that for sure. Uh, these aren't exhausted anymore. And she has one damage. She has one damage as well. Okay. Main scheme goes up by one. Test counter gets placed. Up to three. There are three more test counters here. Now I discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded and put it into play, and then remove three test counters. What was muting? When revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a tech attachment is discarded. Match that card to what was muting. So is that revealed? I gotta read this. It says put that minion in, into play. So it's not revealed. I don't have to do that. Um, okay, and now um, he doesn't activate because he's confused. Um, both of his minions activate though. Add two threats to the main scheme. And then I get an encounter card. There it is. Okay, Shadow of the Past again. This is the third time in a row this has happened. So. Let's see if I can win on Expert while getting Shadow of the Past every single time. Okay. Donrog comes out, these shuffle in. Again, priority one, I have to get rid of the Psych Magnetron. I was just starting to think I had everything under control, too. Okay. My turn. I'll use my commander action to draw a card. Avengers Mansion. Okay. I don't know if I can do this because okay, I I must be playing. I need to play Nick Fury this this turn. I also need to get this out, so I'll start with that, so I don't forget. I will pay four to get Nick Fury. Now, what do I want to do here? Do I want to deal the four damage? Or do I want to draw three cards? Um, let's see what's in my discard pile to help me decide here. I only have one Photonic Blast in my discard pile, so I'm going to choose three cards because it's likely that I could get one. There it is. Okay, that was perfect. Unfortunately, I don't have an energy resource, but um, more on that later. So I will... I'm not going to recover. I feel like I have to get the board under control here. Um, I will... Day three... Keep this helmet in my hand because I thought I would try to do her strategy. Five to one shot Yon Rog. And then Spider Woman and Nick Fury. Do I want to keep Spider Woman around as a blocker or do I want to have her Thor right now? Okay. Um, no, it doesn't matter. I'll have Spider Woman Thor, and Nick Fury thwart. Finish the Psych Magnetron. Uh, Nick Fury has one damage. Um, Captain Marvel will attack the Bio Servant. Mockingbird will... I think she'll... I'll have her Thor one. And that will end my turn. I'll draw up to five. Okay, ready all my people. And uh, main scheme goes up by one. This counter goes up by one. And then he doesn't activate because he's stunned. 
uh, Nick Fury will block Zola's mutate. And then I get an encounter card. Main schemes for two boost. Place one test counter on the main scheme. For each test counter on the main scheme, Zola gets plus one scheme, plus one attack. That's activation. So two, and then he schemes for two, four total. Okay, so that finished. The Mad Doctor. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a minion and reveals it. And then it's the same thing on this side, except it has a little bit higher threshold, which is nice. Um, I will search the discard pile. It's gotta be a weak minion in here somewhere. Is it, wait, does it say reveal? And reveal, okay, so I want a minion that doesn't have a win reveal effect. I'm gonna check the deck in here, because I'm not familiar enough with Zola to know every minion he has. Looks like it's just the mutates and the bio servant, so... Okay, since I looked at that, I'll shuffle. Um... I guess I'll grab a minion out of here as well. Okay, I, I'll grab the bio servant. Okay. Uh, comes in top. Um, this starts with one player. Um. I'm gonna be getting more minions. This is this is rough. Okay. Um my turn now. Oh okay. Um Mockingbird. I don't know what to do here. This isn't the best hand for it, but I'll... It feels so bad sitting here with this, um... <sighs> okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna... I don't think this is the correct play, but I'm just tired of having the helmet in my hand, so I will do that. Um... And then I will attack to get rid of my stun. Um, Mockingbird will stick around for a block, so I won't attack with her. I don't really have any field cards. I actually, I'll keep these two in my hand. So that that will be my turn. I have a lackluster turn, but it'll be okay. Okay. So the photon bot is gonna be good. It'll help me get to the mutate. Um, main scheme goes up by one, then it goes up to three, and I have to discard until I get a minion. Another bio servant. Okay. And then Zola is going to activate against me. Um, I will block, because I have three defense. Try this out. Take one damage. Then I get attacked for... I'll have Blocking Bird block the mutate. And then I take two. Okay. Um... And I get an encounter card. Crisis. When reveal each player chooses to play two threat here or deal three damage. I'll place two threat there. So that's gonna come in with five. Um this is scary because yeah, this isn't looking good. But maybe there's still a way out of this. Um so I'll start by 
spending three to photon and blast. They got this mutate. Draw a card. I'll play this. And I think that's all I can do. Um, yeah, this is not going well. So I'll draw. Notice I don't have any of my shield stuff out, so. Yeah, this is kind of why I built this deck, because I've always thought that the Cosmic Flight helmet situation is not as strong as if you just spend all of that stuff on something else, which is why I like shield. But we'll see if I can. I'll still try to open here. Uh, main scheme goes up by one. I get one of these counters. Uh, he's going to attack me. Um, I feel like I need my active hand. No, I got to block or else I'm going to die. So, then I take two damage from those. And then I get an encounter card. Helm schemes for two. Oops, place a test counter. Okay. And now, my turn. I will use Crisis Interdiction to heal one and draw one. Um, I need to get the Sky Destroyer out, I think. That literally does nothing, though. So I'll spend just so rough. Um, I think I'm going to keep no. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to grab feels really bad, but I'm going to grab Monica Chang. And have her bring a surveillance team out. So has four on it. Um, exhaust that to remove one from there. Monica Chang will thwart one off this. Captain Marvel for two off this. And um that will end my turn. Oh okay. Um yeah, that's all I can do here. So Draw my cards. And maybe there's hope here. There might be hope. Um, main scheme goes up by one. That five of eights. That's almost done. Need to get that under control. Uh, test counter. Uh, that said two, but I th think that I had just got rid of them. Got a minion, so I think it's at one. And then he attacks me. So I block with Monica Chang here. Question is, do I need her for it more than I need? Hmm. I think I'm not going to... Oh, yeah, I'll block with Monica. I think it's probably worth it. Two, three. I take two damage from the servants. Then I get an encounter card. Reveal a discard cards until you get a tech attachment. Attach that to Zola's mutate. Passioning if he, this meaning gets plus two hit points and guard. Okay. 
So it has guard. That's that's rough. Okay. But that's it. So now my turn. I'll finish under the, under attack. I'll fort two off here. Um I actually have to flip down here. Um, I will draw a card. Resets my deck. Now I will pay. Power and all of us to get Ironheart out. That lets me draw a card. I will get Alpha Flight. I'll pay for Alpha Flight Station with that. I will discard Hollow Carrier to draw two cards. Um. Now. I think Spider Woman's the best one here, and then I can save Nick Fury for next turn. Spider Woman comes out, confuses Zola, and then uh, Spider Woman can thwart too. Iron Heart will. I guess or one. Okay. Now I will use my actually I will use surveillance team instead of Ironheart to do that and then she will have done one damage to the mutate. So I have to give her to the guard. Okay, I think that's it. So basically what happened was I tried Captain Marvel's cards instead of doing shield. And it was awful, and now I started doing shield again, and it's going better. Wow, what a good hand. That is great. Okay, I think I might actually win. I thought I was going to lose for a second. One throw out in the main scheme. Get one of these. Okay. And then, um, and then Zola doesn't work or scheme because he's confused. The mutate and all of these add one, so it's three on the main scheme. Counter card when revealed, deal one damage to each friendly character. That's, that, that's tough. Okay. Uh, both of them gone. I take a damage and almost die. Um, but that's it. Okay, let's see if I can make any progress here. So I'll use an energy absorption. Or first, I'll draw a card. Then I'll use Alpha Flight Station to discard Global Logistics. Draw two cards. Okay, this is looking good now. I'll use Agent Thirteen. And no, so uh, I'll use Agent 13 and an energy absorption to play Nick Fury. Nick Fury will um, let me draw three cards. Uh, one, two, in there. Okay. And then I will recover f uh, after a cover four here. Whoop up. I'm exhausted. Photonic Blast here with these three. Um, leaves that at one health. Nick Fury finishes it, so the mutate's gone. Um, I will then play a surveillance team. I 
and then play Monica Chang with this. Grab another surveillance team. And then add counters to each one. So this one goes up to two. Um, these ones both have four. And then I will have each of these use one of them to remove three threat from there. Monica Chang will remove the last one from there. And it looks like I got the game back under control. It's going to be a long one, but but things are looking okay now. Okay, draw up my hand size. Okay. And then main team goes up by one. He gets another minion. Let me take. And then um he activates against me. Make sure he will block. Um that's two boost. Boost chest counter he gets plus one. Um place one and he gets one. So here he's gone. Those well mutate and those are gonna attack me for four. Um Monica is going to block the mutate. And I take two. I get my encounter card. Third, when reveal place one threat on the main scheme. Quick strike, so I take two damage. On to one health. Okay. Now it's my turn again. So I need to. Okay, I will spend an energy resource to draw a card and heal one. I need to photonic blast here before I flip down. Get rid of the mutate. Um, Um, I will look down, heal four. I'll use the surveillance team to remove that threat. Um, I'll draw a card. I will spend an energy to place one counter here. And that will end my turn. Draw up to my hand size. Okay. Main scheme goes up by one. He schemes for two, three, four. Set five, six, seven, of eight. Getting close, my encounter card. Surge. Uh, place one threat on the main scheme. So I lost this one. Um well that was that was tough. I definitely shouldn't have deviated from the strategy of um just trying to uh uh get out the shield cards because you could see how much stronger it was once i had my shield cards out but her her cards really just aren't that good um like cosmic flight captain marvel's on it crisis interdiction those cards these three cards which you have multiple of in your deck of crisis interdiction and cosmic flight just i don't think are really worth it um it's actually why i built this deck was because i used to like Captain Marvel and just think that they were not very good. Um, I still don't. 
but I think that was good. I'll I I don't know if I'll fight Zola again because thinking back on that, I had I got the shield cards out early, mulliganed away this combo I had, I would have been able to get my shield set up much faster. And then I think I could have used my energy channels to rush down Zola 1 and Zola 2. Um, I think aggression's maybe a little better against Zola than Justice, just because there's so many minions and stuff. So this is a hard matchup, but I think it's definitely doable if I was to just do my normal strategy with this deck. But um, anyways, that was game four. I think I'll just take the loss here. Um, maybe in the future I'll come back and redo it, but for now, I think I'm just going to move on to to Red School, and I'll still post this even though I lost. So it was, it was pretty interesting. But again, I also, even though I tried to do this, I got Shadows of the Past um, on my second turn, so any game is going to be hard with that, but I still was almost able to win. Well, it didn't look like I was about to win, but I was very close to having the game under control before it finished. Anyways, uh, that's all. I'll see you again when I uh, play against Red School.